game, the first international competition as well. Um, yeah, it's, it's always could it's always be hard. really really interesting. So, yeah. so the game should start right now. now. <laughs> so a current in ball position, passing up, passing down. That's a quite nice strategic. Um, really fast entering these games. Maybe also learning from the last games. So directly they had the ball dropped. Number twenty recovered it a little bit slow. Attacking, and that could be a goal. <laughs> so there was a space on the goal, I think. Yeah, uh, there was the goalie, the goalie wasn't quite well um, on the goal. He was more above it. So, so the Shiri, the referee, is coming up um, and going down really fast. I don't know what he he did. Um, so we have a nice start from Firenze. We still need to change the names of the teams in the live stream. They're still standing Malf and Barcelona. So it's Akaren and Firenze playing right now. Women's game. We should switch the camera as well. So they're attacking the Italian basket. We see here the Akaren playing. I think there was changing. a goal. Because oh. they're, they're throwing slowly back. Uh, it was a goal. It's 2-0. Now we didn't solve the goal because the camera wasn't switched. Um, unfortunately, but um, yeah, I tell you that now they're working in it. Now we have um, blue Karen and uh, white Firenze from Italy playing quite strong. Um, mm. It was a pass, but that was missed. So Karen got the ball. The defenders are not really in two position. Oh yes, they're really trying to get hold of it. Here have Thea under the ball. Oh yeah. no, they stole the baskets from Firenze. And you see here the goalie, the Firenze goalie is hovering over the Akadem player mm -hmm. instead of... Uh, yeah. Look, she's just sitting there like quite calmly like... As a, there was a call from, from the referee. Yeah. So... Is it... the swimming? I think it's a free throw. So the basket stolen again. It's still stolen and do, do they there do is they no one no, is it stolen? It's a goal. Yeah, it's a goal. It's a goal. But you see I know for yeah. instance, um if in my team if we yeah. have the basket stolen, the other person would just come and lie on you. Not without pushing but not allow, not giving you the space and here you had the, the goalie she was hovering over the over yeah. the basket. So it was giving a lot of space. Yeah. Uh, to the truly to the attacker. I uh, know the game of Orcas will be the next game against uh, what did play against against Boston Narwhal. So it's in 20 minutes. So an another attack now by Akaren. So we have a game that is uh, really strong on the basket of Florence, playing uh, quite strong around the. Firenze team is trying to set up a good defense, uh, but they couldn't manage to escape. Now it's one on one. The defense is missing, and the four checking that the defense yeah. four checkers are not here either. Yeah, um, and that's for like it's not the first time as well. You have the defender, the goalie, but they're missing the third yeah. person between the basket and the goal. So it's very easy for the current players to come, especially when they come there in waves. Yes. Yes. Truly. So let's go. That's a goal again. So we have another start, but they swing you right into the uh, current players. Managed to get cripple the ball, recovering the ball. Their first, the first, first time they reached, but it was holding. And it's for Firenze. For Firenze, it's a free throw for Firenze. And they managed in the first time of the game managed to get to the Akaran goal actually. Yes. Really nice done goal. But the ball was stolen now. Yeah. An another three. Another three, three throw. throw. From the deck referee. I don't know mm. why. It was immediately after, so maybe it was another once again that the yeah the distance of two meters from the ball bearer was not. It has to be held for three seconds, and I 
guess that's what happened because otherwise usually don't give a second free throw immediately after one. Yeah, but now they lost the ball because there was nobody in time there to get it. They recovered it, so I think they're getting into the game. Yeah, we have Thea here with the ball. Yeah. Um, one one fighting for the ball. Okay, they're ca now holding again. Uh, well, if you saw the thing, yeah, the Akan player I think was holding on to the Fidanza player. Yes, definitely. So she drops the ball. Um, Fidanza is recovering it to fulfill off to the free th free throw. Um, the two meter line is is given. It's a it's a circle. Okay, and you see immediately like that they passed the ball, but uh, there wasn't a current player just behind the the Fidenze yes. player, so she could immediately grab her. Yes, and then let any space for swimming. Now the ball is on the floor, and Akaden has five, now four players yes. attacking at once against again um, just two players from Fidenze missing to the, the, the four checker. That is the goal. Yeah. So, so the one player passed to the close side to the corner, uh, and that's the goal. That was a uh, it's 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 kicking, it's pushing, it's holding, it's all in one. It's a free free throw for Firenze. We don't know if the goal counts. It doesn't seem that it counted. I don't think so. No, it doesn't. No. Yeah. It, it's interesting that Akaren is falling so much because. Yeah, they don't need to. No, they don't have... They could just be very confident playing the game, um, establishing in waves, as they did before, but right now they're really physical and fouling. Um, okay, so, sure. so there's three minutes left in the first So Fidenza got the balls, trying to get away, but we're missing other players at the floor, and there is again a call from one of the referees. Um, we don't know which one, the open side referee, but we or, don't or the deck referee, we don't see and we don't have any sounds either from yeah. the pool, so we don't know what's happening. But he was, I guess it will be another free, free throw. throw. Roughing. Roughing. Again, for Fidenzen. But it's really interesting that here, uh, a Karen, a really experienced and, and uh, strong team is r roughing and and uh, committing so many fouls um, if they happen to against a team like Firenze they could just establish a nice fair game um, hmm. they would expect them to play to play a bit yes. more technical and to be passing around exhaust them a bit and yeah and then go in and, and score yes. so here we have just one player from Firenze completely by herself passing to the next player alone and pass got caught of course by one of the Akaden players. But the players are by themselves. They're yeah. not they're not no, oh, that's not one on one, one that's one on one. Mm. But there comes that was a save. Really <laughs> nice that the goalie came in and saved the space. So it wasn't a goal so um, no, there's the, no defender in place. No defender and it goal. was a nice technical goal from but it looked like just the, the, the normal defender technique. The, yeah. def the defender came and didn't position herself and went yeah. up and there was two Akaden players. Yeah. So, so it's still only 5-0. Five, five you would think there would have been way more. No, the I, I'm really surprised these these games, the last games. Um, we had games from strong, strong uh, clubs against clubs which are middle field or not so strong and we would have expected the 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 result to be much higher but it's um normally in the in the one digit number space like here five zero for the first game one minute to go it's really good um by Firenze so they're really getting the crib of it defending playing together um so they Right, really nice job defending. So here on the goal we have um, Valentina Anikini who is, uh, was playing just before with the men, two or three games ago. She was playing with the men's team as well. Okay, and the goal. Yeah. 34 seconds to go in this half time. Okay, the ball is still in the goal. 6-0 for 
McCarran. And yeah, nothing so far going on. Okay, so 10 seconds left. Peter and they're going to the ball, but they're staying at the surface a lot, so then they get tackled, and it's it's a bit dangerous when you play against a team yeah. that's technically way better than you. If you stay at the surface and then you have a surface crumb, then you can only you lose the 3D aspect of, of underwater rugby because you just can only pass down. Yeah. And everybody will be waiting for you down. If you're at the middle of the water, you can pass all around. So yeah. Okay, now it's half time. Changing of the sights. So six, six zero. Okay, it could yeah. have been higher difference. I think it could now. be a higher difference. It could be ten, fifteen, zero. So but now no, <laughs> not I mean, But it could be higher. We don't know what. But it no, could but be. there is quite um, the defense of, of Firenze is, is holding. It's holding. It's, holding. it's. I think it's getting into the game. They're playing really nicely together, managing to break through, going to the current goal right now. They're committing a lot of uh, fouls, so they had a lot of chances and free throws. Yes. Um. So let's see what the second time brings. Does uh, Firenze have anybody to change? Uh, no, I don't think so. If you see the full list, I think you no know, few players are sick and here. No, they had 13 players, and I know okay. at least one is not here, so 12. Okay. So they're not. They don't have any exchange okay. players. But Akaden doesn't have a full team either. No, I don't think so. Because before uh, their last game, the one they played against Vienna, mm. they also had um, three Less players people, yeah. not playing. So yeah. So they're also Super maximum close. 12, I think. So yes, the first game of Akaden today was very interesting because they played against Vienna, yeah. who last time they played against each other was two years ago, and they won 13-0, and now they won 6-0. And actually, the first five minutes of the game, Akaden could not was score. Yeah. They not just could not score, but Vienna was all the time in their half, in, in the their half, half around yeah. the Akaden basket. Yeah, we, so we did this game again together, together yeah. yes. And uh, people were writing in the chat that yeah. the, they could have played better or more technical or yeah yes and it's uh, let, let's see how it, how it goes because yeah. actually I would I, I'm a bit surprised that they're not uh, winning so, more yeah <laughs> what do you say yeah so it's, no, it's just the Colombians on the chat really excited for next game okay yeah, Boston against uh, Orcas, but for now it's, uh, Firenze, it's Firenze. And that's also a nice game because Firenze is making an effort. They have more players because two years ago I was playing with them um, at the U Open European Central Cup and they hadn't enough players and now they have um, a full team of only um, Italian girls playing and that's a really improvement and it's really nice to see that they're doing a quite good job against the current, right? Yes, and they're, I know they're, they have a few new players actually and that's that's yes. a good thing to see that in a country where we're starting to from outside you're starting to have some doubts uh, how is underwater rugby going to survive in Italy and I think now there's a few new a few young players yes. and um, I know in Milan for instance there are now 20 people are training every time nice so that's a really improvement a that's lot of good then it's a lot of new players so it's hard as well to, to it will take some time for them to, yes. to get to a good level but it, it's very good, and lots of younger players, so there is work. it will take some time to get at a, at yes, a good level, truly. but it's also very good for the sport and for the future and yeah, uh, the sport so in the country. We're right back in the second half. Um, so we don't they reached the ball yes, first, I think, but think. they patted it away to a talent. So yeah, they're defending right now, Karen at the side of Firenze, but they're defending right, they're getting Crap of the ball! They're like trying to push it to the to the side of a current, holding on to it. So I and think now one against one, no yeah. defender again. Okay. No, it's now they're trying to. Yeah, no, was it? Yeah, there was. Yeah, she 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 just moved a little bit with the hat to the to the to the middle of the pool. Just an, and then there yeah, was. And I think that the yeah. current player also dragged her a bit out yeah. and made a bit uh, a bit of a space. Yeah. So, so you have um, people from Italy uh, encouraging Spa uh, Italy. Sorry, <laughs> now Firenze for for this game. Yes, yeah, so seven zero. It's a good. It's a good. Game. It's a good game. They're they're not giving up, which is the most important. 
yes. not to give up against the stronger team. You know, you're playing against the stronger teams. You yeah. do your best. And you learn a lot as well. I think they go out here and taking a lot of experience with them. They also <coughs> managed to get a, a women's team for the World Championships this year. So I think it's a good effort. Yes. Oh, so now oh the breakthrough, but there was two, two Karen Blair against one Firenze player. Um, we have against a problem. <laughs> there's no defender two again. against one. I think really the, the, the goalies of Firenze are doing great job but the defenders have to be there in time to establish a quite more um, proper defense yes and it was a goal again yeah, yeah this one from the top it's yeah as, uh, as we were saying before we're missing a person a third person on the water yeah. defending helping the the defender and the goalie a lot of times and that's a question of, of experience of endurance as well yes of being always able to to know when you have to be down and supporting your, your teammates. Yeah. And you have to establish a quite good rhythm to, to keep in press yes. and not to be exhausted too quickly. And we have a nice scrum, but a Karen managed to get the ball. And they're coming in a wave of three onto their snow defender. Oh, the ball Paul fell. In they lost the ball. Oh, pushing. Pushing. Um, free throw for a free answer again. Answer really nice so they're trying to attack in a wave to the current but they can't manage to break through and that's where you see that the current is a more experienced a more technical team that every three throw almost three throw they have stolen yeah. the the ball from uh, from Firenze. So basically the Firenze would lose the advantage, almost immediately lose the advantage of um, of the free throw. Yeah, because the ball gets stolen at once. They get a, t a small breather, but you play t twice 10 minutes and it's okay if you don't have so much time to catch your breath yes. actually. So, so now we have a scrum on the surface side. Yeah. Uh, no, it's okay. You can see it even if we don't see it from the camera with the players underneath. So we're pushing through, you know, we, it's a fast. So it's a current, but defense was there, but she gets uh, distracted. Now there's no defense. Really nice technical attack, but they managed to... No, score. that was a goal. Yeah, well, they managed to score. Yeah, there is some defenders, there's some problem with the coordination with the defenders. Yeah. They, like, they... In, in this uh, particular situation, she was like really distracted and moved away from the wall when she would have stayed. I think the the, no? the other defender was coming down to yeah. change her, so she went out to the ball, um, and then indeed. both defenders were too far yeah. up, too far out, and yeah. But that's uh, it's a timeout for Firenze. Um, so I'm in a timeout. Yes. Hello. So. We have currently right now 124 people watching in the live chat from different countries. 120? 124 actually. Okay, that's nice. Some people stay with us uh, a lot of time. For example, Colombo is watching a lot of games. Um, Right There's now, hmm? sorry, the Norwegians are 11, as you can see, they yeah, have like 5 chairs, five chairs. so yeah, we're so 11 like players in total. Oh, that's interesting. And here and there, yeah. and they also have one, 5 chairs as well. And there's Winnie coming through. Oh, Lisa, that's Creek. Hmm? There's some people asking in, in Greek, in the chat. Uh, so Mitho is number 29 for Firenze. Mm -hmm. So we're starting again, five and a half minutes left of this game. Quite strong into a scrum in the middle. Um, trying to hold on, one of the Italian girls is not losing. There, and now they, she's passed to another one, but there was an account player a little bit faster, just uh, a millisecond. And they're into a scrum in the corner of their current basket. Yes, and that's a mistake they've done a few times now. The Firenze players they make passes that are a bit 
too far yes. and account players are fast and very good at detecting those um, weaknesses and they will just go for it and get the ball. So now we have again a free throw for for Firenze. For Firenze. So it's quite far this so game pushing. only has been free throws for Firenze um, because of faults of a Karen free throw of a pushing or holding without the ball and they're now but they oh they managed really good um, placing the ball in the far corner of the basket but one of the um, defenders was there really there quick no more defender down. now there's yeah that's that's a problem now there's no defender so if if the ball is really dropping which happened right now so there's now there uh, so Italy managed to but it was a pass in the blind and there was a current player much faster no but defender again but you see before the uh, defender both of them they went yes uh, and their turn in their time oh, there was a goal. goal again so the attacker stole the basket lied on it uh, belly down and score just got the ball and scored but you saw twice now um, <laughs> in the previous phase you had a defender going down and seeing that the ball was at the surface and yep. she just stayed mid at mid height yes. mid depth mid height Oh and God. while when is that dangerous, so to say, yeah. you should just go down completely and uh, yeah, and just defend, stay in position because once the others are stolen in your position, you cannot get comfortable yeah. around basket and defend truly correctly. So there was Crum at the middle of the pool trying to break through. A Karen got in possession of the ball. There are more players down from a Karen um, in a wave of two. A third person comes in nicely played. But there's the defender. That's the defender there's right no now. Goalie. Yeah, no, no, the, the goalie, goalie went down. No. Okay. So it's a scrum um, again, in top of the 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 Firenze basket. Um, another second wave of oh, persons coming in. Now oh, there's a Finn in the middle of the pool. Yeah, Kaiden's playing really without stress, taking the time. Mm. And that was a goal. Yeah and a bit of uh, holding the neck. And someone lost the fin, should go for it. Nobody goes for the fin, but the Shiri, the referee, referee gets hold of it, going up with the fin. So you have to play <laughs> with uh, both your fins, you're not allowed to play without fins because it's very dangerous. Actually, yes. your kick is way stronger, so if someone gets kicked by a person without a yeah. fin, it's way Truly. faster and can really hurt. Yeah, there's also um, in favor of the white team, uh, we have here in the ch live chat uh, Margarita, who's saying that they're doing a quite good job, with which we can agree, I think. Um, I think Margarita would be playing if she weren't pregnant. Yeah, so oh, congratulations on that. <laughs> she was playing in Graz. Oh, and nice. Uh, last game for some time, I think. Yeah. Okay, so now we have actually Firenze in the corner, in the close corner of the Akaren half. Uh, of course, there's font by, other, by yeah. Norwegian players, but... Oh, now we, again, two players going around the Akaren basket. Yes. Not really nicely played. Moving. Oh, they lost the ball. Through, yeah, but they tried to, they, they was close to recover the ball. But then we have the defense, the goalie is always there, but it's missing the def defender, right? As, oh, oh but that was a good one. Now the goalie, the defender, got on the ball. Yeah. And, uh, so but we still the thing, we have a, so a surf surface scrum now. Yes. And there is no defender for the white team. Okay, now she's there at the same time as the two Akaren players. Yes, ooh, and one against one again. Ooh, that's a go goal. Mm, yes, that's, that's a goal. A goal. <laughs> yes, that, um, a really nice technique, one against one from the backside of the goalie. But you see that the Fiancé players are Tired. Are tired. They are, you yeah. only have one person down when they're yeah. attacking. You only have one person, and when they're defending, it's also the goalie yeah. and the, the others are not rolling. All yeah, that well. and there are 30 seconds, 20 seconds left. And uh, so again, it's again, well, zero from Firenze holding onto the ball and I think holding it onto it, trying to hold onto it for the next 10 seconds so they don't get another. 
goal. Akaren got the Four goal. Four seconds left. Attacking. But there's the there's defender and the goalie crapping onto the neck trying to lift her up. And that's it. That was the path. Penalty more. Juego, um, what, was it goal or was it I the end of the game? It's, it's an end of the end of the game. Because were, the ball got in the goal. That's oh, right. I don't know if it was exactly at the same time. It's so 12, 0. 12 0. Yeah. 12 0 are Karen against uh, Firenze. Um, and right now I'm saying goodbye and taking next break. Next break. Uh, um, the last game against Orcas are doing Lorena and Lisa together. So have a nice evening. I'm saying goodbye. So, for the people watching us, so what was uh, something said on the chat? Uh, can you hear me? My microphone is a bit too low. Okay, so the, this game was very interesting actually. Uh, Akan against Firenze, it went, the score went a bit as expected. It could have been higher actually. Uh, Akaren is known for scoring with higher differences, but uh, Firenze played really well, they defended very well, it was a very, very hard game for them, but 12-0, it was a very decent score actually for Firenze, so that was really good. Here I'm back again, hello Lisa, how are you doing? Good, that's a very beardy Lorena I have, and uh, <laughs> for the last game. Thank you, I, I do my best, I, I, shot, uh, my, my, I shortened my hair and uh, the lipstick is uh, not working. But the, you forgot the nail polish as well. Yes. True. So. so, last game of the day, uh, day one of the Champions Cup 31 here in Berlin and it's the uh, last game of the day and uh, we see the Colombian uh, outfits again. I like these colors in their numbers. It looks so... Uh, Happy and positive, yeah, exactly, no? exactly, exactly. It's not like uh, skulls and bones, but it's uh, colors and flowers. Exactly. I love that. Are these clouds? No, I think it's a um, uh, sea, how's it called? Sea fauna. Nice. Could be, I don't know, I didn't look at them for close. So we have playing in blue, we have the Orcas. So number one, should I say in Spanish the name numbers? Yes. Spanish, okay. Go ahead. Numero uno, Federico Londoño, dos, Jorge Franco. No, he's not playing because he's sick. Uh, four, uh, cuatro, Daniel Arias. Seis, Javier Perea. Siete, Manuel Celis. Ocho, Pablo Castellón. Diez, Simón Díaz. Once, Samuel Gaviria. 14 Alejandro Oviedo, 24 Camilo Díaz, 32 Sebastián Ochoa, 37 Diego Gómez, 90 Remel Camargo y 99 Juan José La Verde. And uh, for the white team, the Boston Narwhals, we have uh, num playing in white. Number two, Thomas Galeano, five Joshua Stone, six to Timmy Burke, eight Sid Sibley, ten Tommy Skinner, eleven Katie Donovan. 12, Jay Thiriol, 15, Chris Durham, 17, Joseph Gomez, 19, Mate Galeano, 31, Mike Picot, 66, Jan Schnorr, and 99, John Stevens. So, Lorena has joined us here for the last game uh, of yeah. against Narwhals. Yes, so, already the last game of the day, it's amazing how time goes quickly. Colombia, ahora van a jugar los chicos contra eh, los Nobles de, de Boston. Nobles de Boston sí. ¿Cómo estamos? ¿Está todo el mundo ahí en Colombia y en Boston preparados para alentar a los equipos? No, todavía está comentando la gente de, para las italianas, pero ya, ya están empezando a comentar los colombianos. Um, so, last game of the day for the men, for the first day of the Champions Cup. And it is also Group A again. So it was Group uh, had Orcas, the Unidive, Goals, and Boston Narwhals. We already had uh, Orcas against the Goals. They won 11-0. Um, and this game, I think that the... I don't know how it will go. I don't know if it will be again uh, around 10 to 15-0 maybe. Mm, no. I think... I would say below 10. I would Good say idea. between five and seven, something like this, and and it's not that we you know um, we don't, we don't want it, the people from Boston to get upset at us because we are maybe saying that the um, Colombian team is going to win, but actually they are the favorites. They are also the world uh, champions, and because of that, 
I believe that uh, it might be a tough game, but I, th I know the um, people from the U.S. can play very good practice. There are some Colombians there as well. Uh, Mateo Galeano is there, right? Um, yes. the, he learned with the Orcas, you know, he started when he was seven years old or so. <laughs> it's really so funny. Um, and, and there is Mateo and Tomás Galeano and Tomás, as well. Yeah, see, no, to, uh, Tomás was seven. And Mateo, see, Tomás is, no, wait, which one is the youngest one? Tomás or Tomás. Mateo? Tomás, Tomás, exactly. Tomás started with seven. And Mateo was, I think, 10 or 11, something that is. So, with Orcas, and then they moved to the U.S. So.